Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. Today in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your shoes stick to the basketball court. Hello everyone, so my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. However, today I am going to mix it up a bit. I am going to talk about how to make your shoes stick to the basketball court. I'm going to show you my top five ways to do so. So if you're new to this channel, uh, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So when I was a kid, the first way we always used to make our shoes stick to the court was we would lick our hands and then we would go to our shoes and wipe our shoes as hard as we could. Now, that works because it's just liquid coming off of your tongue, which is disgusting. That's why we stopped eventually. This is back when we were like grade 5, 6, 7. Uh, we were all getting sick. It was just disgusting. We don't ever do that, but that is one way of doing it. Uh, a better way that we moved on to, which was a way that I kind of figured it out, was this is just liquid. So what's the difference from this to your, the sweat on your body? So you would just go like this, wipe your shoe, go like this, wipe your shoe, that kind of thing. Still disgusting, however, it works. And when you're on the basketball court and you can't just go off and say, I need to get a wet towel for my shoes, when you're like halfway between a free throw shot, it works. It works really, really well because all it is, all your sweat is, is basically water and salt. So that's how you can clean your shoe. Another way you can do it is, of course, like I just mentioned, an actual wet towel. So if you have a really, really bad, slippery basketball court, obviously if, if the team was smart before they played, they would wipe down the court with a wet towel on a broom, like one of those big, wide brooms. But then, uh, after that, you would also have a wet towel at the clock-in spot or just next to your bench. So that between uh, quarters, between shifts, uh, between anything, if there's a free throw shot and your guard needs to just wipe his shoes off, he'd be able to do that. Uh, just a wet, damp towel and just leave it on the ground and just wipe your shoes on it. That works really well too. One way that a lot of people do is they'll either use pop, like Sprite or Coke, and then they'll, they'll dip their shoes in it and let it dry. That's good because when you let it dry, it's, it's sticky. However, 10 seconds later, hairspray is another one for that same idea. 10 seconds later, it's just going to have all the dust stick to the shoe again. You want something that's wet so that it, it doesn't necessarily stick 100% to the shoe. At the same time, uh, hairspray, it's just going to make it worse. So don't use hairspray. Now, the best way I've seen, other than using my own sweat, again, pretty disgusting, uh, is a thing called Court Grabbers, which is a company that gave me a lot of product many, many, many years ago when I first started this channel. I reviewed their product. I really liked it. I really like it now. Of course, uh, this is not an advertisement. I'm not getting paid for this. This stuff came to me like four years ago, but I thought I would remake my video because my last video was a minute long and just talked about nothing really. Um, however, Court grabbers, basically, it's a thing that attaches onto your shoe, and then basically every at the end of every quarter or something like that, uh, they've got this uh, this stuff in a bottle. It's li the liquid stuff, kind of smells like mouthwash, and uh, you could probably use mouthwash once you buy this thing, and um, basically you just spray it on there, and uh, at the end of like whenever you need it, you just basically wipe your shoe on that. And uh, it's got like a rubber seal thing to wipe off all the excess so your shoes are just damp and clean. They're not just soaking wet like when you use your sweat. Um, after using your sweat for a while, um, when you're wiping your shoe, it's still good. Uh, but you have to remember not to use too much sweat. So you kind of learn how much is too much. Uh, so this way, automatically, you don't have to worry about it. When you use your sweat, you need to really know exactly how much sweat you need when you wipe your shoes. Of course, this sounds really disgusting to probably any parent, but believe me, sweat works and cork grabber work, grabbers work. So you can either choose the disgusting way of sweat, which makes the other team disgusted and makes us just laugh, or you can use cork grabbers, which is 100% legal in every game. Even the NCAA, use, some teams use these. 
and uh, you can use that. So uh, my two best ways, I would say, out of the five that I uh, that I know that work and that is used widely across any team, is cork grabbers, which are like twenty something dollars. Uh, link is in the description, or uh, sweat, which uh, just everyone has for free. So, anyways. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Hello everyone, just a quick five second ad. Basically, there's a new thing called a community tab on YouTube. If you go to my channel and you click on the community tab, I put a whole bunch of different polls and stuff and you can comment. I ask a whole bunch of just silly, random questions. Maybe not silly, but interesting questions. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe. Or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.